Mortal Engines was directed by Christian Rivers and stars Hira Hilmar, Robert Sheehan, G. Hay, Stephen Lang and Hugo Weaving. The 60 minute war has torn the world apart and a thousand years later cities have become roaming consumers of the remaining resources. Scavenger Hester Shaw, played by Hira Hilmar, seeks revenge against Thaddeus Valentine, played by Hugo Weaving, who wants to control this fractured world by any means necessary. Take one part, a series of science fiction fantasy steampunk novels, three parts Lord of the Rings producers and writers Fran Walsh, Philippa Boynes and Peter Jackson, add a cast of mainly newcomers, sprinkle on the VFX supervisor for all three Lord of the Rings films as a director and serve on a plate of a hundred million dollar budget. Mortal Engines has the ingredients for a satisfying meal but ends up collapsing in on itself like a poor souffle. This is that kind of try-hard story wanting to be the next Star Wars so bad that at times it just straight up rips off Star Wars. The plot is ludicrously similar to Rogue One. Think about that when you go to see this movie and you'll see what I mean. The city of London is another Death Star with its own super destructive energy weapon that everyone is starting to fear. The airships are concept stage starfighters and there's a scene where a main character reluctantly flies his craft into the belly of the evil station, fires a missile, destroys the core and narrowly flies out at the last minute Phantom Menace style. It is baffling that no one thought twice about these choices considering the major creative talent involved. There's not much else to remark about Mortal Engines besides its bizarrely unoriginal story. The main performances from Hilmar, Sheehan and Weaving are kind of flat. No thanks to lacklustre writing. The visual effects have some imagination but become rather overbearing in the finale. The cinematography has the quality of a sci-fi show at best and the two hour runtime feels like a torturous three. Some praise can be given to the intricate practical sets. Jihei is entertaining at times as this very cool looking character and a fang and Junkie XL's score can make the rather dull action scenes feel much more exciting and important. That's really it, unfortunately. Mortal Engines, in my view at least, never looked like anything interesting. From the very first teaser, I disliked the overblown, overused CGI masking as a grandiose vision of a seemingly unique world that becomes more and more generic as it goes on. There are some genuine moments of inspiration sprinkled here and there, but not where it counts and not enough to make any impact to me beyond boredom. From the filmmakers behind The Lord of the Rings comes this bloated, messy, mediocre, uninteresting movie that feels made for no one in particular, and I'll say that Mortal Engines is a C-. minus. C. Duh, it's not doing so well. So Mortal Engines, have you seen it? What do you think about it? What do you think about this review? Let me know down below, and if you want more Mr. Movies, follow the links coming up right now, and thank you for watching. Oh.